The theme is oneself. Who am I? Why am I here? Where do I come from? And where am I going? Why, hello, I'm Gray Gregory. <laughs> Andre, you've been very influential in working with actors in a very physical way. Can you give us a hint as to your approach? My theater work is an ongoing meditation on the most frightening person in my life, my father. When I heard that my father might have been a Nazi collaborator, I absolutely believed it. I believed it so thoroughly, I had shingles the next day. It was a very, very formal theatrical environment, the kind of theater that I hate. With authoritarian parents, you don't get a straight answer. I prefer to do my work for very small audiences, in living rooms, abandoned factories, even unfinished bunkers in the desert. All you need is a tiny room with a few friends and you can make a miracle. In many of the arts, we take the time we need. I knew what can happen if you take a year or two to rehearse a play. That's completely unpredictable. You're sailing into the unknown, into uncharted seas. But Andre, you spend 13 years working on a play. <laughs> <laughs> I create a playground for demented children. You must think I'm mean. Oh, must she? <laughs> I never audition an actor. I only interview them. I'm drawn to them. I trust them totally. It's the art of being, not the act of performing. His basic technique is to follow your impulses. He knows what it is to be truthful in his work. <laughs> we wear masks. Even emotion can be a mask. I'm stripping away less and less to find the theater of the spirit. Every movie has to have a sexy scene in it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I spent my whole life in the theater creating big, happy families. <laughs> in our culture, we have shamans, but we do it intuitively. 